After I build the solar array, I'm going to have to get the power from the solar panels inside the garage uh, to the charge controller. Uh, behind me, uh, this X is where I'm going to have to drill through to get to the uh, DIY power wall on the other side of this wall. And if we turn around, we can see the array is going to go back there. And I ran a string line. Now, the ideal thing would be to dig the trench from the solar array and come in underneath the pavers. And if I was to come underneath the pavers and come right up underneath that X, that would be ideal. But I, these pavers took me a long time to put down, and I think I would probably just ruin them in the process of trying to rip them up. So I am going to go overhead. So I put the string over here by the post, and my thought is I'm going to come up the, uh, the, the front of the post here with the conduit. And then right around here, uh, stop with the rigid conduit and switch to a flex tight. And then come up a flex tight to the ceiling. And then I'll have to come up with rigid over and down. If we follow it, this is the middle of, of where the, uh, the whole array is going to go. So I can dig the trench to here and then come up. Uh, so that it'll come to the combiner box. This is a mock-up I made to try to get an idea of the whole array. So uh, this front face is a 47 degree angle off horizontal. Uh, I am at 42 degrees north latitude in Massachusetts. I think the 47 degrees is a little bit steeper than ideal for my location. Uh, I'm at 42 degrees north latitude, but I'm not trying to create the most amount of electricity throughout the year uh, in kilowatt hours. That's for grid tie systems. What I want to do is try to create the same number of kilowatt hours in December as I do in June. So I think a little steeper helps me achieve that. But if you guys can let me know, I haven't uh, built that racking system yet, so I can still adjust that angle. 66 lineal feet of trench that I have to dig. And the ground is already a little bit frozen on the surface. So <laughs> I hate digging this ground, I really do. But I'm gonna get to it. Okay, I'm about halfway done with the digging. Still have that to go. Just every inch you hit another big rock. <laughs> and when you whack one of these things with the pickaxe and it reverberates through your body, it hurts. It's times like this that I wish I uh, had a landscaping trailer that I could tow behind my car. Uh, that way I could have picked up a trencher. But it actually costs about twice as much for delivery as it does for the rental of the trencher. <laughs> uh, so it was going to wind up being about $300 after taxes. And uh, so I decided to do it myself, but this has taken about two hours so far. So another two hours to go <laughs> and, uh, and then the trench will be done. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, I've got the trench dug. Uh, a little bit crooked over there, <laughs> it'll go through. Uh, it's starting to get dark, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get another video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.
hand around this. 